Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of um, October 2nd. You have the uh, Hierophant wanting it, not wanting to go back into that deck if it wants to uh, focus. So uh, that's interesting, but uh, let's see what is going on for you. Uh, in your current general energies, you have this devotion card and this generosity card. I'll show you these two in a minute, but uh, that devotion card is like my till death do us part card. So if you're looking to get married or if you're looking to meet a person, you could be meeting someone who's very generous and uh, definitely like till death do us part type type of vibe going on here. But look at that. You have the four of wands as well. So uh, definitely could be marriage coming in for you if you want it. I'm not, you know, right now Libra stands out to me, but I'm not so sure. Let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll keep going. But you have the uh, Strength card, the Judgment card, and the Four of Wands. Strength card, of course, is your card. So, you know, I feel for a lot of you, you're showing up in a very strong position here. I always say whenever you show up as your own major arcana card in a reading, it kind of puts you in a position of power and strength in, in the reading. So, you know, it allows you to get more, get what you want in the reading. And so, you know, I definitely like that. You have the King of Pentacles as well, Taurus. So, you know, it could be, and you have another Taurus card right here. So it uh, could be a Taurus coming in for some of you if you want love. Uh, it doesn't have to be. You know, it could be Taurus in your own chart, I suppose. But uh, let's see what else is going on here. Again, you have the um, Strength card, the uh, Judgment card, and the Four of Wands. It's like you're waking up to something. You're waking up to a possibility in your life is what I'm seeing here. And, you know, I feel that this could be a good thing. Well, let's start here. You have the... Um, Again, you have this card here. How cute is that? It's like a bird grieving the loss of its little partner there. So definitely could be true love coming in for you if you want it. Again, it would be someone who's very generous. Although that is uh, Saturn and Leo, the generosity card. So, you know, it could also just be you being very generous. And again, you do show up uh, as yourself right here uh, with the strength card. So, you know, I kind of feel that this could be talking about you being generous or kind of like very giving at this time. It's also interesting, you have the Page of Swords here. So um, either you're spying on someone or someone's spying on you, or you're, you're both spying on each other. Um, I would say, especially if it's an Earth sign, uh, <laughs> for sure, it's like going this direction here. And uh, so there's like some spying going on. Let's put it that way. Uh, you have the uh, Judgment card. Judgment card is like waking up to something. You, I, I'm pretty sure you've had the Judgment card a bunch of times with me. Um, you know, recently, and I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. And, uh, you know, to me, it represents waking up. The other thing is, is that you have the tower as well. Uh, whenever I have a reading that has judgment in the tower, to me, this is the most powerful combination in the tarot. Uh, to me, it represents like a major revelation, um, major wake up call, some sort of big change. And you even have the wheel of fortune here uh, as well. So there's like a big shake up coming into your life. Uh, the tower is showing up in the area of the good stuff. So, you know, that row is going to be good no matter what. And, you know, I kind of do feel like it could be a major shake up, but probably a good thing. Uh, the other thing I would say is everyone has had the tower again this week. So, <laughs> you know, it wouldn't surprise me if there were just global tower moments going on. Uh, you have the four wands here, marriage. Uh, so again, um, you know, something has to change though. You know, the thing about the four wands is that it is a finish line card. You can see right here, this kind of looks like a finish line up here. And those people are celebrating on the other side of this portal here. So it's like, there's something that you have to cross through or cross over or get over I'm hearing as well. We go this way, ace of cups to the five of cups. Like if this is love, some of you might have to heal or get over, um, you know, a past relationship. And, you know, that's what I would do there. The five of cups is kind of like says, you're missing out on something. You know, there are two cups behind him with this bridge in the castle over here. And then you have the ace of pentacles right there. It's like, if you were to turn around, you would see a big opportunity. So, you know, again, for those of you that want love, this could represent uh, needing to see like what is available to you. E even if you don't want love, this could be you, um, you know, you could have lost out on like a business opportunity or something like that. And this could be saying like, you need to try again, or you need to, um, you know, try to have a business again or something. It's like, we're, we're going to look into it, obviously, but I kind of feel like, you know, now is the time. You even have this rabbit spirit, which says now is a lucky time, plus the wheel of fortune, very lucky, you know, change in your circumstances. Yeah, with the strength card, you have the two of swords, something you're not seeing. Um, two of swords is this or that thinking, right? She has a two swords crossed over her chest normally, and she has a new opportunity behind her, and she just needs to see it. So, you know, she has that new island behind her on this card usually, then it kind of represents the fact that she has to turn around and see the new opportunities that exist. 
Uh, with the Judgment card, you have the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a victory, so I do feel like there could be some sort of major victory uh, coming in for you or a victory that you could be having. Uh, I also feel like something really stands out to you here. It's like you have the Judgment card, which is a calling. The Six of Wands is a card of you know, success, but it could also be you looking at something that could potentially be successful. And again, we have that Ace of Pentacles, which is like a big opportunity. With the Four of Wands, you have the Star. Um, the Star, of course, is like a hope, wish, dream. You know, it's a card of hope, faith, and renewal. It's a card of, you know, big opportunity as well. Uh, you could be attracting a person who you see as a star, you know, someone who's really special, uh, someone who has, you know, uh, very generous energy. You have that generosity card here. The star is generous because it's kind of like a flow or there is a flow with the um, star card, you know, and so I definitely feel that. Let's keep it going. Uh, next in the area of um, your next, what are we doing? Oh yeah, your next big change. You have this uh, rabbit spirit that says, now is a lucky time. You have this electric eel spirit that says, bring your ideas to life. It is definitely time for you to bring your ideas to life. There's something you're thinking about, Page of Swords, uh, very clear to me. Even if, the, even if the Page of Swords is not you spying on someone, it could be you. It's like you have your eye on something. Let's put it that way, right? And I feel like you need to kind of bring that idea to life with this electric eel spirit. It's This reading is kind of saying to me, luck is on your side. You know, it's like maybe normally whatever you're looking at or whatever you're imagining would, maybe it wouldn't work out as well as it would right now. So I kind of feel it's saying like, you know, now's your time to take a chance like on that business idea on, you know, or, you know, whatever you're doing to change your life. You're clearly very focused on changing your life because we go this way, you know, King of Pentacles, uh, Wheel of Fortune to the Ace of Pentacles. It's like you're looking for lucky opportunities and then going this way, Wheel of Fortune to the Tower. You know, it's like you've, maybe you've had some sort of major um, light bulb moment about, you know, what life is or, you know, what life can be or whatever. And it's like, you're trying to create that change. I really feel you have your eye on something here. You know, this is just, just a card of curiosity. And I always tell people to embrace their curiosity or to move towards their curiosity. Like look into things, just do research on whatever you're interested in. It doesn't even have to be a person, a business. It could be anything and just look into it. And that's all you have to do. There you go. Uh, you have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're about to be very happy as well, but you have to turn around to see it. Again, Five of Cups, we're gonna talk about that when we get to the next row, but you know, I kind of feel there's a lot of happiness. There is there is like a big change in your circumstances. Mostly, you know, two Aces is a definite yes to any question that I haven't answered, but it's also, you know, a big new beginning or, you know, a very passionate new beginning that could be coming in for you. So love it. Uh, again, you have the King of Pentacles. For some of you, definitely could be a Taurus. You had that Hierophant that wouldn't go back into the deck when I was shuffling. Even before, you know, I, I always shuffle like in between my videos as well. And it like was kept like popping out there. So, you know, I think that they're, you know, either, you know, you have Taurus in your chart or there is a Taurus that's like in your energy field or something like that. Um, this could also just be you being very focused on your financial future. Because again, we go up to that Ace of Pentacles here. So I feel a lot of you could be doing things to improve your finances, or you are. Uh, let's see, uh, with the Page of Swords here, you have the Page of Pentacles, someone new. Someone wants to communicate, someone spying, probably an earth sign, <laughs> Page of Pentacles. It could be a person who has a lot of earth in their chart as well, take how it resonates, but you know, to me, this is definite communication. I mean, Page of Pentacles is literally the messenger. Um, so, you know, I feel like there could be communication. And I mean, you do have the Judgment card as well, which is like communication. And with the Ace of Cups, you have the devil. I feel like this is what you're fearing, is the devil going this way. It's almost like you're fearing that you're not healed enough here, Leo, or something like that. You know, four one star. It's like, you know, maybe you thought you were with a person who was a dream come true and they turned out to be a devil. And it's like, you're still focusing on it when there's like a something better here going this direction. Uh, the other thing is, could just be an earth sign. Again, could just be a Capricorn that's coming in for you here. I do feel like you're like wanting to make sure that you're not being tempted. Look at this, with the King of Pentacles, you have the you have the Hermit. So you have all three earth signs here. Um, I would definitely say it's at least a person who has earth in their chart if you're looking for love. But, um, you know, the other thing I would say is it's almost like this reading is saying that you just need to open up. So I feel it is time for you to open up if you're looking for love, you know, go out, get out there, get get into public, go meet new people, do all that other good stuff. Um, I also feel that the hermit kind of says, you've been through a dark night of the soul and now it's time for you to reveal something to the world. Now that I think about it, you always get the hermit with me as well. 
I'm pretty sure it's you. Um, like, and I always say, like, there's something you need to share with the world, or there's something you need to, you know, reveal to the world. Is kind of like what I feel here with the hermit. So, you know, I would get revealing. Uh, next in the area of um, what, what the heck are we doing? What you don't see coming? You have this card that says you are currently under construction. Please be patient. The sacrifices you make today will be worth it. Yes. So I feel that you could be making some sacrifices. The sacrifice is to release something right here. Right here. <laughs> it's this. These three cups. Sorry. This way. My cameras are all reversed, so I always forget. But, you know, what I would say is you have to let go of something. You know, the whole point of the five of cups is that he is um, grieving the loss of his taste for wine. Um, you know, the whole story of the five of cups is that he no longer enjoys the taste of wine. That's why these cups are spilt over. Um, and so, but he's like grieving the loss over something he no longer enjoys in the first place. When if you were to, were to turn around, you know, it's a card of gratitude. It's about needing to be grateful for what you do have. Because if he were to turn around, he would see those two cups and he would see that bridge and that castle. So it's like he would see something that he does want, something new, something different. And so again, sometimes like when we focus on our old story, like what someone did to us or whatever, it's like, that's what we're doing. We're just grieving the loss of something we don't want in the first place. When we should be changing our story and saying like, okay, now I know what I do want and that's what I'm gonna focus on. So, you know, I would change your focus with this card. It does look like you are. I mean, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So there's definitely a change in your luck, very lucky reading. So I feel there is a lot of luck or a change in your luck coming in for you here. A lot of abundance as well. So, you know, I feel, I kind of feel like there's something um, different or a change, a turnaround coming in here with the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, we have to um, kind of use our vibrations to make a change as well. You can see right here, this snake above my finger, and uh, that kind of represents your vibes. <laughs> so, you know, anything you do to uh, change your vibrations, to think more positively, all that would be good for you. Uh, you show up right here as well. You know, the Wheel of Fortune represents the fixed signs. So you, again, you show up a bunch of times in this reading, which is very nice. Uh, you have the four cups here. Mm, I almost feel like this is something that you're fearing, you know. Uh, it's like you're fearing that you won't get an offer or something, or you're fearing that something won't accept your offer. You know, uh, you know, especially like for, this could be love, you know. Some of you could be like wanting to make a love offer or whatever. Um, or, you know, again, you're hoping you get a love offer from a person that you're interested in. And it's like you're fearing that it's gonna be a disappointment. So again, I would change your story. Uh, I also do feel this could be financially related though. It's like you're fearing that if you do something with your finances that it's not gonna turn out how you want. I think the best thing you could do is educate yourself because Page of Pentacles is the card of studiousness. E every single sign on the Wheel of Fortune has books in its hands. And I always get education for you uh, here, Leo. So again, if you're like afraid that um, you're gonna start something new in work or business, and if you're having that fear that it's just gonna tower, that it's just not gonna work out, uh, I feel like you need to just, um, you know, kind of do your research. I, I think that educating yourself will be the best thing you can do. With the uh, Five of Cups, you have the King of Pentacles. Do you have that twice? Yes, you have the King of Pentacles twice. You know, if this is love, King of Pentacles is a person who really wants something long-term, someone uh, permanent. So definitely, and especially if it's, a, if it's an earth sign, uh, definitely very good for you, Leo. Uh, I also feel you could be, um, you know, there's like an opportunity for you to greatly uh, increase your finances which we see right here with the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is like something new or a different way to work or some uh, some new way of doing work. And I would be I would be very focused on, you know, coming up with uh, or, you know, searching for new opportunities. The thing about luck, and it's a very lucky reading, but the thing about luck is luck is just preparation. It's just being prepared, right? So I feel that, I feel that for a lot of you, where it's like, if you put yourself in situations where, you know, you can learn new ways to grow your business or whatever, then you will. If But if you don't, then you won't. So, you know, again, this is like needing to educate yourself, needing to, um, you know, take advantage of opportunities in business to like network and, you know, all that other stuff. With the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Clearly, there is a change in your finances, a lot more growth p potential. The problem with the Ace of Pentacles, though, is it is a card of potential. You know, this right here, I'll show you on this one. There's a garden right here. And, you know, what do we have to do with a garden? We have to, you know, water it. We have to give it sun, fertilizer. We have to weed it, you know, all that other stuff. So, you know, in a lot of ways, this kind of says like, you have to, if if you nurture something, this opportunity that's being given to you, it will be very successful. And that's really what I feel like this reading is getting at. There could be a very big opportunity in front of you, but it's like, it needs to be nurtured into existence. Uh, with the four of cups, you have the page of wands. Yep, I, I kind of feel like you're, it's like you're much more, 
you know, I almost get this feeling that you're going to be much more adventurous, like over the next five years than you have probably been in the last like 10. <laughs> and I mean that like literally, you know, if you haven't been traveling, for example, for the past like 10 years, or if you've barely traveled, it's like, I, I feel like over the next five years, it's going to be like a, a billion times that you're going to be like moving around much. I get this energy of movement. It's, it's very general as well. It, it, you know, the feeling that I get here, I feel like you're just becoming a mover and shaker. You know what I mean? Leo, maybe that's what this reading is really saying is that things have, have been slow and it's like now you're becoming like a real mover and shaker in the world or, you know, you're kind of like shaking things up. You know, maybe you're sharing your unique ideas with the world with the tower or, mm, you know, it's like something is getting you moving here. It, it, it does feel like time to me for some of you, Wheel of, Wheel of Fortune. Um, Sometimes I feel in readings where we have the Wheel of Fortune, we can just feel like we're running out of time, even though we're not. And, uh, you know, so again, that could be the thing that's making you a mover and a shaker. Uh, at the end here for the good stuff, you have this juggling card that says, prepare to be busy. Are you kidding? That's literally basically what I just said. Uh, main, uh, many roles and projects. Try to maintain ba balance between work and personal life. You have this workaholic card. You having a strong work ethic and giving 110% all the time. Hard work beats talent when hard when talent doesn't work hard. There you go. So I feel like there is definitely a lot of movement here and not just in work, I'm in all areas of your life. This row is going to represent the good stuff. So it's good no matter what. And you do have the tower here, but we'll definitely talk about that. Uh, but again, I feel that you could be working really hard or there's just like a lot of movement. You have the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Tower. Again, the Tower kind of represents ignoring reality in, in some ways, but in the area of the good stuff, I kind of feel like you're waking up to a new reality. It's like you're seeing that your life can be different or that things can change. I do feel like a lot of changes, you know, over the next many years as well. For you, I would actually say like the next five years. I don't know. I don't trust psychic timing at all, just so you know. <laughs> you know, the universe doesn't wear a watch, but you know, it's almost like over the next five years, um, you know, again, it could be six, it could be four, it doesn't matter. Um, but the point is, is that I feel like you could be making some um, really significant changes in your life, but big things like more, you know, like moving, traveling, um, you know, uh, changing, making big changes about yourself, like personal development and things like that. You know, it's like, these are some big changes that are happening. Again, the tower and the judgment card in reading is a major revelation. It's like having the big aha moment in your life. Like, oh, I know what I need to do now. Finally having the answers. So, you know, I really do like this. And again, everyone has had the tower. So there you go. You have the four swords. It's like, you're hoping and praying for something. I do feel like you're getting very lucky. You know, again, if you've been hoping or praying for something here, there's a person who's being blessed right here in the stained glass window or receiving blessings from another person. So it's like you could be receiving um, something that you've been hoping and praying for, plain and simple. Uh, you have the Ace of Pentacles as well. The Ace of Pentacles is, you know, of course, a big opportunity. We've already talked about this, but, you know, I feel like there's like a very lucky opportunity coming in for you. Uh, definitely looks financial. So I do feel your finances could be improving. Let's see. Uh, are you kidding? with the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Cups. You have the Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups twice. And they're both connected, you know, here and here. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, you know, I really feel for a lot of you, uh, this could, you know, could be anything. You know, this could be two offers. You know, that, that juggling card says juggling work-life balance. So again, you could be getting like a job offer and a love offer. <laughs> and you could be having to juggle the two things, you know. I would focus on fulfillment with the um, Ace of Cups, like which thing provides, you know, or, you know, what provides most fulfillment for you? The Ace of Cups is about following your heart. Uh, with the Four of Swords, you have the Tower. Yes, we already know that there's like some sort of, uh, you know, there ha probably has been a Tower moment in the past, but again, it, this is the good stuff. So this to me is like a major wake up call happening in your life. Uh, with the Tower, you have the Five of Pentacles. Again, in the, I do feel like you're finding a new way to make money or there's some sort of change in the way that you make money is really what I'm getting here. There's some sort of difference or you're doing something different. Um, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's good. <laughs> Whatever it is, I feel it's going to make you very successful. Uh, again, the Five of Pentacles says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. It wants you to focus on your strengths. And sure, that card wanted to come off. It just says protection on it. So I kind of feel like you're protected from risk or you will be protected from risks here. Uh, you have this teardrops card. It says great personal sorrow. I feel like this is what you're overcoming here is like feeling sad that something in the past didn't work out. We kind of talked about this. Uh, you have this bread card. It says period of prosperity and abundance. Uh, obviously, we already know that you're in a period of prosperity and abundance. So I definitely like that. Um, you know, one thing I will say, 
is again, you need to commit with that Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is, again, whatever you are committing to, it's, it like says, really take care of it. Um, you know, whatever it is, nurture it, you know, uh, give it, you know, sunlight, give it attention, you know, all that other stuff. And again, I'm not even talking about love here. It could be, but it could also be whatever you care about, whatever your heart is leading you to with that Ace of Cups. Uh, you have this woman card. Oh, I always clarify these woman cards. Uh, it says dealings or relationships with a woman. And then you have this chair empty. It says someone is leaving your life. Yeah, I feel like oh, finally though, is what I feel like saying. You have that five of cups. It's like maybe you've been grieving the loss of a person who's been in your life. You're, and it's like you're finally healing. Um, I, I just kind of get that feeling where it's not, I feel like it's talking about a person who's already left. Doesn't have to be a woman. Could be any gender. And it's like you're finally over it, you know? Uh, you have this parrot to someone will gossip about all your secrets. Uh, six of wands, jealousy, you know, six of wands can represent someone who's jealous of you. Uh, I always tell people just ignore it. Uh, you have this broken bridge. It says unsuccessful outcome to a problem. I feel like this is what you're fearing with the four of cups is that things that you won't be able to kind of overcome something, but you will. You have this bull and what do you know? A bull, and it, it, Taurus, again, it says, do not back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude. So I feel like you have to charge towards something here. Uh, but uh, I really like where this is going. I feel it's a very lucky time. But I would, like, I would, if I were you, right, Leo, I would just nurture my luck, right? And, you know, it's pretty simple. Again, luck is just about preparation. So it's like, what area of your life do you want to get lucky in? Where do you want more luck? And just learn more about it. Educate yourself about whatever area of life that is. Pretty simple. That is like the simple recipe for being more lucky. But uh, this looks really good. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.